In this video, we're going to talk about the multiplication property of equality and compare it to the multipl multiplication property of inequality. You might recall from when we were talking about solving linear equations that the multiplication property of equality states if we have an equation, so let's say a equals b, then I can multiply the same value to both sides and it doesn't change the equality. So I can say, okay, I'm going to multiply this side by c and I'm going to multiply this side by c. It doesn't matter what c is, as long as it's not zero, it does have to not be zero, uh, it will maintain the equality. Okay? That's true all the time, no matter what the value of c is, except, except for zero. Sneaky zero. So just for the rest of this video, because I'm going to have to say that like 400 more times, we're just going to assume that c does not equal zero. So I'm going to preface with that as we continue on. Now, the proper multiplication property of inequality. So if we have an inequality, such as a equals b, I'm sorry, that's not an inequality, that's an equation. a is less than b. We might not know anything about a or b themselves, but we do know that a is less than b. So does this property still hold all the time? If I multiply both sides by the same value, will it maintain that inequality? And I think the best way to investigate is to actually apply this to actual numbers. So, let's go with 2 is less than 5. Hopefully we all agree that that's true, because it is. And now, okay, let's multiply the same thing to both sides. Let's multiply both sides by 4. I'm just choosing 4 at random, just to see if it maintains that this side is less than this side, that the left is less than the right. Well, this would give us 8 is less than 20. That works. Great. Okay, so it held up there. Will it always hold up? I don't know. I mean, I do know, but for the sake of this video, let's pretend like I don't. All right, 2 is less than 5. Okay, now this time let's multiply by negative 4. What happens when we multiply both sides by negative 4? We get negative 8 is less than negative... Wait a minute. Negative 8 is not less than negative 20. Negative 8 is greater than negative 20. What just happened? Well, we multiplied both sides by something negative. And when you multiply both sides by something negative, you're switching the values. So what was smaller now becomes bigger because it's, everything's backwards in negativeville. And this will always be the case. So the multiplication property of equality states, if we have a true inequality, this is less than this, or this is greater than this, or this is less than or equal to this, and you multiply both sides by something positive, it maintains that inequality. So there's nothing special there, still true. So we can say if a is less than b, and we're going to say c is greater than 0, so that, ju that just indicates c is positive, then c times a is still less than c times b. If we multiply both sides by something positive, it maintains that inequality. However, if a is less than b and c is less than 0, c is negative, then remember what happens. Everything that was smaller is now bigger. Everything's backwards, so the inequality flips around. Then c times a is greater than c times b. Now, I just used the less than sign here, but this is true. If it was, this was greater than or equal to, then this would change to less than or equal to. So whether it's just less than or greater than, it would just flip to the other one. And if it's, just, uh, if it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it maintains that or equal to. Because the equation, the equality won't change, just the signs, uh, everything else will. So really important rule. If you, and and I, this is called the multiplication property of equality. It also is true for division. If you divide both sides by a negative, you must flip that inequality symbol.